Here is the recap of the first season of Good Omens. The demon Crowley and the angel Aziraphale met in the Garden of Eden, back when God had just created Adam and Eve. Crowley was instructed to make the couple eat the forbidden fruit, and he had no problem doing so. Although angels and demons wage endless war with each other, Aziraphale and Crowley find common ground and become buddies. The heroes were designed by their superiors to live on Earth and bend humanity to their sides. They cross paths many times, and a true friendship develops between them. The heroes witness and sometimes cause the occurrence of certain historical events and live to this day. A demon lives in a luxurious mansion where he terrorizes the houseplants. An angel has opened a bookstall and enjoys human life. In the present times, Crowley is instructed to deliver a certain infant to a satanic monastery and then to prune him throughout his life by bending him to the side of evil. This child is to become the Antichrist and be brought up in the family of an American diplomat. But a mix-up happens. The Antichrist ends up in an ordinary English family and is named Adam. The Archangel Gabriel also instructs his angel Aziraphale to watch over the child. Aziraphale and Crowley meet in the park and tell each other of orders from above. They realize that the appearance of the Antichrist will lead to the end of the world and decide to prevent it, as they have fallen in love with the Earth over the years. In aware that the infant has been accidentally switched, the heroes agree to interfere in the child's life evenly. The plan is for him to grow up to be an ordinary teenager, which will, in theory, stop Armageddon. Eleven years later, six days before the end of the world, the characters realize that the boy is not the Antichrist, because at that time, on his birthday, a Cerberus should have appeared before him, but it did not. After which the angel and the demon set out to find the real Antichrist. Meanwhile, Adam grows up an ordinary child, and on his birthday a hellhound appears before him. He calls it simply Dog, which causes the monster to turn into a small terrier, and Adam takes him in. We are taken to the year 1656. Witch hunters find the last witch in the world named Agnes Nutter. She was a fortune teller and had seen it coming. That's why she hid gunpowder and buckshot under her skirt. Because of this, the whole village that executed her died. Earlier, the woman had written a book called The Nice and Accurate Prophecies of Agnes Nutter, where the prophecies for the next 360 years were collected. This book was passed down from generation to generation, and at first no one paid much attention to it until they noticed that it reflected reality incredibly accurately. However, these predictions were often meaningless or confusing. So the descendants of Agnes created an entire system for understanding the prophecies. These days, a girl named Anathema uses these predictions to try to find the Antichrist and stop the end of the world. Meanwhile, in London, a guy named Newt, a descendant of the witch hunter who burned the last witch, is trying to find work. By chance, he meets Shadwell, a modern-day witch hunter, who offers him a chance to join their squad. In fact, this organization hasn't found any witches in a long time, and now there are only two members in the London office, Shadwell and the new recruit Newt. The heavens and the underworld prepare for the final battle. They decide to summon the horsemen of the apocalypse and send a courier to deliver their packages. War turns out to be a war correspondent who receives an ancient sword. The Sakan turns out to be Famine, who is given an ancient scale. Tilution, also known as Pestilence, receives the crown. And the final recipient is Death himself. In search of the Antichrist, Anathema arrives in the small town of Tadfield, where he meets Adam and his friends, but still does not realize that Adam is the harbinger of the end of the world. Meanwhile, in their search for the Antichrist, Aziraphale and Crowley find the satanic monastery where the baby was born. They try to find any records, but it turns out that all the documents were burned that day. And their way back to town, they hit Anathema on her bicycle and decide to give her a ride home. She accidentally leaves a book of prophecies in the car, which the angel finds and takes it for himself without informing his friend. In the fortune telling, the angel discovers a clue with which he finds the address where Adam lives. 
Meanwhile, Crowley meets the witch hunter Shadwell, and we learn that the demon sponsors their organization to roughly spy for him. The hero instructs the witchman to find the Antichrist, and soon Shadwell gets a call from Aziraphale, and we learn that the angel also happens to sponsor the witch hunters and uses them as his spies. The hero instructs them to find the boy Adam in the town of Tadfield, and Shadwell sends his only employee Newt there. Adam, being a supernatural being, has the ability to change reality. He dreams of aliens, and in the morning aliens arrive on the planet. The boy meets Anathem again, she tells him about the environmental problems of the Earth and gives him some scientific journals. Adam dreams about what he has read during the day, and in the morning strange things begin to happen in the world. For example, a dangerous nuclear reactor disappears and is replaced with a lemon candy, but the nuclear power plant still produces energy. Aziraphale and Crowley argue as the demon offers to kill the Antichrist in order to prevent the apocalypse. Soon the angel meets with his boss, Gabriel, and tries to convince him to stop the end of the world, but it turns out heaven is also interested in the apocalypse. Soon enough, the angels learn that Aziraphale is friends with Crowley and stop trusting their brother. At this point, Crowley's superiors also learn that their subordinate lied to them about the Antichrist and go to his home to punish him for his transgression. However, the hero manages to destroy one with holy water, and Haster, the strongest, is locked up in answering machines. Meanwhile, Shadwell goes to Azaraphale's bookstall, where he sees him using a pentagram to try to communicate with God. The old man believes that the hero is in fact a demon, and tries to exorcise him. Accidentally, the angel steps on the pentagram and teleports to heaven, and Shadwell accidentally sets fire to the bookstall. A few minutes later, an enraged Crowley runs into the blazing building and tries to find his friend. Thinking that he is dead, the hero goes to the pub. Newt is on his way to Tadfield and has an accident after seeing aliens appear from Adam's dreams. He is found by a boy and company and brought to Anathema's cottage. She knew of his arrival, as there was a prophecy about him in the book. The girl then tells Newt about the end of the world and that they need to find the Antichrist. The man guesses that Adam is the one they are looking for. Suddenly a hurricane is triggered by the boy and following the predictions from the book the couple makes love. Meanwhile, Aziraphale finds himself in heaven. He refuses to join the war and decides to stop Armageddon. The hero no longer has a human body, so as a spirit he descends to earth where he meets Crowley and tells him that he has learned the location of the Antichrist. The demon gets into his car and rushes at full speed to Tadfield. Aziraphale is transported to Shadwell's house and takes possession of his friend Tracy. The hero convinces the old man that he is an angel and wants to prevent the end of the world, after which they also go to Tadfield. Meanwhile, Adam is distraught over his new power and begins to test it. He scares his friends and even the dog, after which the boy comes to his senses and realizes that he is doing evil. However, the apocalypse has already begun and the boy does not know what to do. And the way to Tadfield, Crowley is attacked by Haster, who manages to escape from the answering machine. By this time, a ring of fire has formed around London that cannot be overcome. Crowley, with the help of his imagination, makes sure that the fire does not do him any damage. Haster, on the other hand, lacking imagination, burns up and disintegrates. Meanwhile, four horsemen of the apocalypse arrive at a secret military base in Tadfield. Using local equipment, they want to stage a nuclear war that will eventually destroy all of humanity. Just at that moment, the rest of the heroes arrive there as well. Aziraphale in the woman's body is about to shoot Adam to prevent the end of the world, but Tracy cannot kill the child and shoots in the air. The boy senses that the woman's body contains two souls and separates them. Eventually the children defeat the Apocalypse Riders, and Anathema and Newt stop the launching of nuclear warheads. Suddenly the commanders of the armies of light and darkness arrive on Earth, Gabriel and Beelzebub. They demand that Adam relaunch Armageddon because it is God's plan. 
but he refuses. Xerophel and Crowley ask the Archangel and the Demon if God's plan is incomprehensible. They acknowledge that it is indeed incomprehensible to anyone, even to them. So the heroes assume that God foresaw it all and didn't really want the end of the world to come. Beelzebub and Gabriel have to admit that they have lost, and the duel leave. Satan himself then appears and demands that Adam obey, but the boy rejects him and uses his powers to banish Satan. He also restores the whole world, fixes the Crowley machine, and Azarephel's books talk. Sometime later, a courier arrives at Newt and Anathema's house and hands them a new book of prophecies, which a certain firm has kept for several hundred years. However, Anathem destroys the book. At this time in heaven and hell, Aziraphale and Crowley are being judged for their betrayal. One is about to be destroyed by the fires of hell, and the other is about to be bathed in holy water. However, it did not work for them, and the bosses do not understand how it is possible. We learn that the heroes had guessed that they would be executed in this way. That's why they switched bodies earlier. Angel and demon are exiled to Earth, where they continue to enjoy their lives. This is the end of the first season. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.